this is gonna be a very special weekly evaluation. The camera is angled. I have very little memory left, but hey, let's make the best of it. Let's conclude this week's challenge into a very condensed evaluation. We have been doing, what do you say, the practice of living purposefully. That is the fifth pillar of the, this epic story of building our self-esteem. Boy, I need to turn this knob down, but I have so much energy and so much I want to say in that little time. The practice of living purposefully. It is dragged out of, from the book, The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. We have done this through sentence completion exercise to get us to focus and think about what living purposefully means to us. Like, living purposeful to me means da da da, and then you fill out that sentence. That's just to get the ideas going, to get the, the brain to start thinking about purposeful living. That's the thing, what we focus on, we get. We start to think about what that means to be, if we start to understand that, hey, that's such an important piece of the life puzzle, to actually go after the things that really mean something to us. But so, that is what basically the week has been about. For me, that has meant that I totally read up on the ideas of how to live purposefully, and that entails not only like the life sentence, oh, you should do that, huh? but being productive, doing the things that really takes you in the right direction. So I've really been practicing being productive. There's a lot of different systems you can go about for doing that and I've, I've gone back to what I've started out with, GTD and Tony Robbins RPM method. Actually ran out of memory just now, had to delete some of the album, hoping to finish this off in like one minute. But what I was saying is that I started out with productivity because that is such a key tool to get us to where we want to want. Then I raised the bar and looked at the whole thing from the purpose perspective. What is my drive? And I've listened to a lot of people and one point of view is that there is no particular meaning with life. It is all 100% subjective. If you love picking apples all day, if that's what drives you, that is your life purpose. No one can tell you what, what's the right kind of thing to do for you. But one thing that really put it in a good perspective was Tony Robbins' way of presenting six human needs when I listened to his uh, audiobook, Personal Power. Because he says that we have six human needs. And if we can satisfy these on a very high level, we have like the most tremendous kind of experience that fulfills us in the best kind of way. And so I tried to apply this on my work context and on my YouTube channel to see how it differed. And what I realized is when I look at my YouTube channel, I scored super high. That's why it means so freaking much to me. So these human needs are uncertainty, also needs certainty. You need a specific some kind of comfortness or just knowing what you get in life. Growth, feel that you have some personal development. You need significance to feel that you are important in some way or shape or form. You also need connection with other people. And lastly, we have the, the last thing I always forget. But so when I looked at my YouTube channel, is it certainty there? Yeah, I can record this video and then post it and I know it will be out there. That's certainly one shape. I have uncertainty in the form that I have no idea what's gonna happen. Is people gonna puke on me for doing this? Are they gonna love it? I don't know. Connection comes in when people write to me and it's just, it's human interacting with me. But also when I approach people, that's totally connection. There's growth in the sense of personal, Boy, is there growth here. I love this. I grow every time I do this. That's what this is all about. And we also have significance in the field. I, I feel a bit important when I try to help people. It gives me that, that sense of satisfaction. The idea is that when I look at the same thing in the work context, there's not all that broad, broad spectra in fulfilling these different needs that we have. That is one explanation for why I feel so great about doing this. I'm just sharing how you should think about different things in life, to, how to find life purpose. That is what I taught from listening to Tony Robbins about talking about the six human needs. 
and I put a link down there in the description for you to learn about this on your own and try to apply it. I think it's it has some real power to it. It's been a very insightful week and actually I have time to say that I re revisit my goals because that is also a big part of this living purposeful. I actually took a big decision this week. I decided to go all in on soberness. I'm actually in Barcelona here with 10 guys and I think you can figure out on your own that that entails a whole lot of drinking. But I don't really want to drink. The sprinkle just started going up, talking of drinking and all. I've never liked to drink. It makes me become a person I'm really not. I'm an introvert and sometimes people say that introverts that drink, they, they become more introverted. I just don't like drinking. I don't want to drink, but I've always felt from the group pressure. That has ended this week due to this living purposeful. But it has been a challenge. It's not easy to say no to alcohol when you're with 10 friends. And I'm so proud for doing this because I know that is what I want to do. So that is it for this week's challenge. I hope you will join us for next rejection therapy challenge you heard it right i'm actually going to do most of my challenges here during my weekend in barcelona since i have the opportunity to visit a new town and speak with new people great great opportunity it's going to be awesome so make sure to look through my videos but also look through this upcoming short video on sunday where i briefly go through the this challenge so that is it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Alexander Nilsson. Love you guys. Bye.